So the season has come to an end for Missouri, ending on a pretty strong note here with a win in the Cotton Bowl over Ohio State, 14-3. Missouri, one of the bigger surprises this year, if not the biggest, to be honest with you, ending the season in the top 10. And if we had an expanded playoff this year, they would be in. I mean, tremendous season here for Missouri. And really, Eli Drinkwitz has that program on the way up. And looking ahead to next year, we'll get into it a little bit as far as recruiting, transfer portal, schedule, all that stuff. But looking ahead, they've got some good pieces coming in, and they're going to be dangerous for a long time here, as long as Eli Drinkwitz is there. you got Brady Cook, a quarterback coming back. You are losing your workhorse, Cody Schrader, at running back. But – Help is on the way, and I got to tell you, no offense to Cody Schrader. I love the guy. He's awesome, but they're getting the new player running back, and he's a dude, and we'll get to him in a little bit, but you're going to be impressed, Missouri fans. Let's go ahead and look at the recruiting rankings and transfer portal rankings right here. All right, so overall, you got 22nd, 24th ranked recruiting class, 16th ranked transfer class, so they've definitely got some help on the way this season. Eli Drinkwitz, like I said, definitely has this program on the up and up. All right, looking at this right here, you've got a five-star coming in at edge rusher. Might start right off the bat for you. Number five player in the nation. Pretty impressive right there. All right, so you've got the 12th ranked receiver coming in. Some four-stars coming in. Five and four-stars, you don't see go to Missouri a lot. And that's part of winning as well. The more you win, the more people are going to want to play for you. And they've definitely got the recruits to back that theory up. But definitely adding some solid pieces here. Transfer portal-wise, like I said, they've got some good players coming in. The one I want to focus on right here, Marcus Carroll, Georgia State running back. This is going to be your workhorse next year for those that aren't familiar. All right, so he was a top-10 rusher this year, had top-10 rushing yardage in the nation at Georgia State. I know you can't see the logo because of my big head, but all right there. should be able to see it now. But top-10 rusher at Georgia State this year, you're adding a monster at running back in Marcus Carroll, and he's going to be unstoppable at Memphis. He's going to get after it. You're also adding some really impressive pieces here. Cornerback transfer from Clemson, offensive lineman from Oklahoma, edge rusher from Georgia, linebacker from Miami, D lineman, D tackle from Florida, linebacker from Wyoming. So you can see you're getting transfers in from bigger programs, which is always a sign that you are doing something right. All right, so they also lost a few players in the transfer portal. Not too many, but backup quarterback Jay Garcia is a notable one. All right, another quarterback here, Barry Johnson, committed to Oregon State. So you have lost some guys, but not too many guys that are necessarily contributing right off the bat or anything. So my, not Miami. Missouri definitely has the makings to do something special next year. Let's look at their schedule. So as you know, playoff is expanding 12 teams next year. Missouri has a chance to be a part of that. We'll probably be a preseason top 10 team. Uh, they will be in my preseason rankings, which I'll put out next week, but they'll definitely be in the top 10. Let's look at their schedule real quick. Murray State, that's a win. Buffalo, that's a win. Boston College, that's a win. Vanderbilt, that's a win. So you're going to start 4-0 pretty much, no doubt here. You get into a little tougher part now. Get that off my screen. At a and that'll be a win, though. UMass, that's a win. Auburn, that's a win. Here's your test right here at Alabama. Going into Bryant-Denny Stadium is never an easy task, let alone for Missouri. You don't have to win that one. That's the good news. Playoffs expanding. You don't got to win this game. You can lose two games now, to be honest with you, and still make the playoff. So I think they're going to lose to Alabama. No harm, no foul. Most teams do to lose to Alabama. The good news is you'll get your shot again in the playoff if you make it. But I got the one loss at Alabama. Oklahoma, I think they'll beat Oklahoma. Oklahoma's not the same team without Dylan Gabriel. They're without Dylan Gabriel. He's headed to Oregon. So that's going to be a win for Missouri. At South Carolina, that's a win. Mississippi State, that's a win. Arkansas, that's a win. So, Missouri, I think you're looking at one loss to Arkansas, which is probably going to put you in the top five at the end of the year, top ten, top five for sure. Definitely is going to put you in the playoff. And once you're there, you got a shot. You got your offense coming back. Brady Cook's coming back. Like I said, you got a running back to replace Schrader, who I think is better. And, yeah, I think Missouri is in the right direction for sure, and I think – their foot's in the door. If the playoff was today, they would have made it this year. I think they're going to make it next year, and I think they're going to make some noise. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.